Back in November 2022, scientists revealed that a large object was detected entering the ocean. Noting that underwater trackers picked up on the object and immediately sent out a warning message to scientists. According to official sources, it crossed La Palma and passed through Gran Canaria before entering the ocean. The noises generated by the splash triggered alarm systems nearby, where at first scientists thought it was a landslide. After further examination, it turned out that the object had come from space. Oddly enough, while this was happening, a fire was reported in the area which researchers said was due to the impact of the object. Interestingly, cameras detected a bright object entering the ocean, while residents who witnessed the event said that it left behind a trail of smoke. Just after the object hit the ocean, dozens of people called the emergency services, detailing that something had crash-landed, and that the object must have been big, as residents reported feeling tremors. The tremors have yet to be identified, although scientists have said that it was most likely caused by the object hitting the ocean. One user said the following, I do not know the origin, but the tremor was quite big. It didn't just affect the windows, but also the floor and walls, and in the background was a sound that was like a distant explosion. End quote. The National Geographic Institute has announced that they've registered the shock, but still does not specify the origin. This isn't the only interesting object to have been detected entering the ocean. On the 8th of January, 2014, something incredible and almost unbelievable happened. A small celestial object belonging to another star system crashed into the Pacific Ocean. There are no known witnesses confirmed to have seen the crash. Amir Siraj, who is an astrophysicist at Harvard University and has been studying this object since it was first discovered, confirmed that it indeed very likely originated from an interstellar location in May 2022. The reasoning behind these estimations has to do with the speed with which this meteorite travelled throughout space to land on Earth. It was travelling at 37.2 miles per second, or 60 kilometres per second relative to the Sun, which is too fast for any object belonging to our solar system, which would be bound to the Sun's gravity to at least some extent, and therefore travel at a slower rate. Now, Siraj and his colleagues are gearing up to do what has never been done before. Not only are they going to dive into the deep waters of the ocean to retrieve fragments of the object, but should their mission be successful, they will be the first to ever examine an interstellar object so closely. The operation is meant to be undertaken with the use of a magnetic sled the size of a king-sized bed on a long-line winch. The hope is that tiny fragments of the object will be attracted to the magnet and caught. However, this expedition is estimated to cost $1.6 million. For now, we will have to wait until further investigations have been conducted. First Detection of Sugars in Meteorites Our world is essentially made of a number of building blocks, elements and compounds important to life, important to environments, and important to developing worlds as we can recognise them today. In 2019, a new compound key to forming life was found within a meteorite. A team of international researchers uncovered sugars that are necessary in sustaining life inside of a meteorite. This has added some evidence to the existing theory that the chemical reactions that take place inside of asteroids can help to form some biologically important compounds crucial to life as we know it. An asteroid is oftentimes the ancestor of meteorites, being their parent body. This means that if that theory is in fact true, then the meteorites showering ancient Earth so often may be a key element to the origin of life on Earth that we have been missing. The research team uncovered ribose, arabinose, xylose and several other biologically essential sugars. These compounds were spread over two different meteorites, both rich in carbon. It's worth noting that these do have specific biological functions and roles. Ribose is a necessary component of RNA, ribonucleic acid. RNA functions as a messenger molecule, meaning that it copies the genetic instructions from the DNA before transferring the information to the relevant ribosomes. This sounds incredibly complex, but the key takeaway from this is that the sugars found serve a biological purpose, fueling the theory that important elements that help to form life could come from inside these meteorites and asteroids. This is not the first time that important building blocks that help to form life have been seen within meteorites. 
hence the theory already having a good amount of weight behind it. Before this 2019 study, researchers had already found amino acids, which form proteins and nucleobases, which form DNA and RNA. Yoshihiro Furukawa, a researcher at Tohoku University in Japan and the lead author of the study, published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, explained that the sugars had been a big piece of the puzzle that was missing, limiting how convincing this theory was in the past. When commenting on the significance of this finding, he said, The research provides the first direct evidence of ribose in space and the delivery of the sugar to Earth. The extraterrestrial sugar might have contributed to the formation of RNA on the prebiotic Earth, which possibly led to the origin of life. In terms of conducting this research, it's an impressive achievement that a fragile molecule such as ribose could even still be detected and found within ancient materials. Now, this knowledge can be applied as further samples undergo their analysis. A much less thrilling explanation is that these compounds arrived in the meteorites after their arrival on Earth. It goes without saying that there is plenty of life here on Earth. So there is the possibility that these meteorites became contaminated with terrestrial compounds after their arrival. The next steps here are to analyze a greater number of meteorites to try and observe the extraterrestrial sugars and gauge their abundance. This work is far from completion, though the prospect that the necessary components for life came to Earth from elsewhere does leave the possibility that those same building blocks arrived on other planets as well. Astronomers find huge, previously unknown cluster of stars. The Milky Way is a hot topic for conversation in the world of recent discoveries. Not only has it been bested by an orphan cloud, but astronomers have now uncovered a huge cluster of stars at the center of our galaxy. Labeled an ancient stellar population, astronomers believe the cluster was once a globular cluster in our galaxy, which over time migrated towards the center of the Milky Way to where it was then discovered. The center of the Milky Way is in fact quite densely populated with stars, with a higher concentration of them than most other parts of the universe, making the location of the find perhaps not all that surprising. More specifically, it contains 20 million stars spread across a distance of 26 light years. Interestingly though, the very center of the Milky Way was only discovered last century, and so while it's relatively close to home, a mere 25,000 light years away from Earth, we are still in the process of uncovering huge amounts of information about this region. Not only is it a relatively recent discovery in itself, let alone this new cluster of stars, but a lot of research had since been focused on the massive black hole which also lies at the center of the Milky Way. Back to our newly found giant cluster of stars, it is thought that the cluster is only about 7,000 light years away from Earth and is also roughly 75 million years old so middle-aged when it comes to stars. Although only discovered in 2020, the brightness of the stars within this cluster, called Valparaiso 1, is so intense that you can observe them with a telescope from Earth, in your back garden for example, somewhere near to the Sagittarius constellation. This makes the lateness of the discovery even stranger, as it is a well-observed and well-charted part of the night sky. Astronomers have since explained that owing to the distances of stars in the Milky Way and neighboring galactic orbits, it can sometimes be more difficult than one may think to observe clusters at the center of the Milky Way. Still, Valparaiso 1 is estimated to contain approximately 10,000 solar masses within its cluster, meaning it is not all that small, and so astronomers do admit that it going under the radar for so long is puzzling. With clusters of 10,000 stars being discovered so close to home, at the very heart of the Milky Way, a well-researched area, who knows what else is out there, both near and far from us, waiting to be discovered. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.